Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, I wanted to jump on over to Kiazma's account to test out Silas because we do have him maxed out, 30 signature item, 9 furniture. Keen to see what he can do, so let's get into it. Okay, so the thing that I really like about the maxed out Silas is the 30 signature item. Allied heroes that have more than 50% of their max health receive an attack rating increase of 20%. That is going to be very nice. Now, keeping in mind on this account, we are at like a very extended point. So we might not be able to just dominate straight away here. Um, but still, I'm pumped to test that. And also this one here. Now, the furniture... Three furniture is really nice. Um, Injected Fury on a nearby uh, melee ally. Additionally, increase their normal da normal attack damage by 50% and normal attack fre frequency by 30%. But now we can also use that on ranged. Now, this is really nice having the nine furniture because it means whoever injects is going to get a really, really solid buff on top of that attack buff and invincibility. Uh, to me, it just sounds like at nine furniture with a Gwyneth, if you could get him to inject Gwyneth would be amazing. However, because she's always in the back row, She's normally the last one getting down to that low end, so I don't think that'll work too well, but I'm keen to try it. I think he's just gonna work in any general team. I feel like he's a very splashable healer. Um, this one here, as you can see, I just put a team together. Hasn't worked yet. I'm um, just trying to get some Graveborns that are a bit tankier to stay above. Basically, my idea is to try and get Izold to work uh, in this one. We might need a secondary healer in here to keep everyone alive, but we also do need to apply some pressure. So let's just jump in and I'll show you what this is sort of working like. It's not quite getting there. He does have some nice heals to aid as well and as you can see Zyzol just goes down just doesn't quite get there and we didn't quite kill that um oh whoops wrong match let's try again let's go over here we don't quite get that um Sophia down with the Athalia which kind of sucks um and he went down so I feel like this one with RNG we, oh, this is really frustrating I wish it went straight back to the match you were on we're on this one because it's very light bearer heavy, so I felt like we had a bit of a factional advantage on this one. Um, but as you can see, the Ice Ult's surviving pretty well, and then we just get absolutely shredded by that Estrilda ult. Man, that change to Estrilda far out, this this thing. Oh my god. Like, when I play retry, let me retry that battle. Uh, the Estrilda ult is huge. It's actually huge. So we might have to try something different. So we will come back to that sort of formation um, and test him just with Grape one. But at the moment, we're just getting pushed really, really hard. So what I wanted to test was a Gwyneth formation to see if we can get him to inject a Gwyneth. Um, I also feel like he'll have good synergies with Zolrath if Zolrath does get low because he does his um, thing where he can survive. If you can inject a Zolrath, I feel like it'll work nicely in that he can... Um, basically survive until the end and proc his passive. So we're going to try that. We're going to try it with a Gwyneth and an Arthur. Um, we're probably not going to have a faction bonus, but, you know, whatever. We'll have the defense bonus from this. I just wanted to test because that's two synergies that I want to work and they kind of work decently together as well. And we want a tank. So let's just take the Izold in there. So let's see how this works. Okay, what happened? Why did the Arthur get knocked back? I'm a little bit confused on that. Injection goes on Arthur, which kind of sucks as well. Uh, let's go. Gwyneth ult again. I guess it wasn't too bad injecting the Arthur. Okay, now we hit the Zolrath, which is solid. Now he's going to get some extra attack. After he comes out from hiding. Okay, not too bad. And as you can see, just him injecting things like... I thought the Arthur wasn't going to be good, but it made the Arthur really thick. I think the issue there was why Arthur got knocked back is with the Zolrath, it's actually not a great combo with Gwyneth and Arthur because Arthur runs too far forward because the enemy team takes so long getting into the battle. Meaning Arthur runs out of range of Gwyneth being in his uh, back line, his little thing. So he does get knocked back, which means if the Estrada wasn't there, we would have never got the uh, Gwyneth buff. But there you go. I mean, it worked not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the way that played out. Um, but probably not the greatest synergy with that Gwyneth um, as something to note. Now, we, I, I, I feel like it's going to take forever to try and do these matches. <laughs> Let, let's see Let's see if these like instant win ones should work. But this God Comp against this isn't going to work. 
I don't think. We'll find out, especially not when the totems drop behind my hero. And we overlap ults. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're gonna get this one. Because Mihiro's still smacking on that totem. <laughs> Look at Mihiro just smacking on that totem. Oh, it's so funny. So funny. Okay, and the Scrag mounted up, which is really bad for us. Which is incredibly bad for us. What can we do? We're, we're definitely getting timed out in this one. Look at that Mihiro. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, she's back the right way. She's back the right way. Here we go. Yes, got it. Got a mind control, but Azusa's dead. So we're screwed. Okay. Sorry if there's background noise. It's raining really, really heavily out here. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Okay, let's put this on times four to get it done. Like, will this happen? This is taking forever. We're going to get timed out, surely. Surely we get timed out. There's too much heals on that enemy team. I didn't account for that. We just had God Comp. That was where it was placed from the last, I think, multi-stage battle. Actually, we might, we might come close. Scrig's getting lower. Ooh, nice. Nice work, God Comp. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can clear this whole thing, and then we'll do some more silence testing in the mid-stages. If not, we'll just leave this and try and get some of the other comps. Uh, so let's go this one. Uh, I feel like this isn't too bad. I feel like the totem dude's going to burn us on this. So I don't know if this will work. Yeah, we, we get shredded. We get shredded. All right, let's try, let's try this one. Once again, I haven't made these formations for this battle. This was just from the last battle, uh, what the formations were. And Eins, can you do another ult? If, if he got another ult there, that was that was GG. That was game. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll leave because I just want to test some more Silas teams. So let's jump in here. Let's jump in here and have a look. So, obviously that worked not too bad, but like I said, the Arthur synergy isn't really there with the Zolrath, which sucks. But the injections, if you can get a team to survive until injections, it's fantastic. So, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and try something different. We do have the Ezio. You kind of want people that are going to do nice damage and stay above 50% is the feel I'm getting um, to really get max effect out of this guy. So I feel like if you can stay above 50. Okay, you're pretty solid there. We do need 30 signature on you to be fantastic. What's you at? You're not that beefed out. So we want people, maybe with Flora, that attack buff could work. Maybe with Flora. So what I want to try is, let's put the Thorin in there. Uh, you're good with this, except you look like you have zero gear. Yeah. You're a good stall, but you don't have the gear. Let's put the... Um... Let's see what your gear's like. Okay, let's put you in there. Oops, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay, so you're going to help, and let's do that. Let's see if this works. My idea being that Flora's going to be above 50% a lot... And then hopefully the other two uh, can survive. And the problem is we do have a Sophia in there, but I just want to see what it can happen. And I don't know. I don't know about how the activation of it works. Yeah, we got shredded. Damn, damn. Pressure on these things is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, maybe we'll steal that and put you in here. But I mean, the eyes old getting dropped that quick is nuts. Unless we try it like this. Man, the astro Oh, Jesus. Okay, I don't know how we're going to make that work. Let's let's jump over to tower and see if there's something we can do in tower. Because, man, them teams. Ooh, let's do this tower. Okay. So, faction tower time. Grizzle, let's drop Shamira. Let's drop Grizzle. Let's bring you. Let's bring Silas. The throw is going to be annoying, so we'll do that. She's going to lunge, which sucks. Ooh. Injection. Who do we inject? Do we inject Damon? Because that would be handy. That time we injected Damon. Nice. Okay. Injecting Damon. Heaps. Like, heaps. Can we inject him again? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
That is what you want Silas to do. I'm glad we got that match. Let's take a look at that again. That was huge. That was huge. Okay. Check it out. We lost two instantly. Then we inject the Thorin. I'm pretty sure it was. Thorin did a fair bit of damage with its cheese. But then we just spam inject. But look at the healing on Silas as well. Like he's in Flora's thing and getting hailed on by Flora. He manages to keep injecting. That is huge. I love that. Okay. Let's jump in again. Okay, what do we got? This is a Cyrus team. We do have the knockdown. Let's just test it. Odin's really annoying in this stuff as well. Okay, Odin portaled Silas, which sucks. But Silas is going to get an injection on the Pharrell, I think. Yes, it was on the Pharrell just before Pharrell altered, which is perfect. Okay, he's going to get another one, which will go on the Thorin, I believe. Okay, this is what I was wanting to see out of him. This is what I'm wanting to see. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's go again. So, like, obviously, we're not as level disadvantaged in these stages. Um, but I definitely think in PvP as well is where he shines. Obviously, from the Draft Arena, he's huge. Um, the only thing he's missing out in Draft Arena is that 9 Furniture, so it doesn't work effectively when he's with ranged heroes. But besides that, he's fantastic there. But I absolutely love this guy as a support in general. And once again, in campaign, I feel like with enough testing, like on the certain stages, you can make him work. Kind of like that Gwyneth team worked. I feel like it'll happen. You just, like just in campaign at that stage, you need really good CC or really good tanks. And they're all in the other teams. But let's see if we can do this one. I think we lose here. Let's put Thorin there. Let him get sacrificed. This, yeah, yeah. This stage, this stage does not look very Graveborn friendly. Um, can he? Just not, not, not that it's not Graveborn friendly. It's just it doesn't look friendly to this comp. The Scrag Anarchy is huge, and then we've got the Flora in there for some big damage, which is going to shred us. Um, inject the Thorn. Yeah. Yeah, let's try him down here. Let's try Stitchy here. Man, I have no idea how I'm going to make this work. Izold, unfortunately, just doesn't have the thickness to just get in there. Okay, we did inject Stitchy. Can Stitchy do it? Oh my god, and that is what I mean. Just that one injection on Stitchy, and he absolutely shredded the world. Okay, Stitchy, my man. You are amazing. Okay. So this one does have a Nara, which sucks, and a Brutus, which sucks, and also the Scrag, which this is just an annoying team. So let's let Nara take Pharrell, because I really want Stitchy's damage. And I really want... Ooh, good save, good save there. Izold got injected on the Izold, I think, there. Or was it the Thorn? Who knows? Let's just keep going. Deal some damage, deal some damage. Stitchy. Nice. Nice. The increased damage... As well, this, that, that 30 Zingtrotum is, is so nice. Okay, what do we have here? We do have the Estrada, which is going to suck. I'm going to put Stitchy out of range for a second. I don't know who got banished. Stitchy popped. Izold got the injection, which is huge for Izold. That's really big for Izold. It means he can last and keep dealing damage, and we can shred them. Okay. Nice. Next stage. Uh, another Nara, I'm just going to do this again, see if this works. It is a wild or heavy team, I feel like that like is going to shred us, which she did. Um, we might swap this around here, see if we can get that to work. Unfortunately that Nara is just going to be an absolute pain in this the whole time. Ooh, we did inject Stitchy, I think. I think we did inject Stitchy just then. Can Stitchy make it happen? Yes he can. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Okay. I really do enjoy that. Let's go again. Uh, I think Izold will be able to stop the knockbacks of Titus. I'm not too sure. I'll have to see. I think I think Izold's going to get his knock up before Titus gets fully knocked back and then fears. We'll have to see how it plays out. does have an Entendra, which we've got to watch out for. Okay. The Titus just absolutely shredded us. That's okay. Ignore me. Let's go this way. 
Okay, let's see. Who does Antandra lunge to? Couldn't quite see. Silas, please inject Stitchy. No, we got Thorin, which sucks. But it's okay. Stitchy gets the injection. Okay, we win now. We win, surely. Don't, don't, don't jinx it. I think we win. I think we win. Okay, good. And Tandra could have done a knockdown and then completely ruined our day. Let's get this 420 done. Um, that's going to be the swap there. This is actually an annoying team. It's actually a really annoying team. There's so much going on here. You've got the Kalthus swap, you've got the turtle jump, you've got the portals from him, and then you've got the vortex and the dragon, uh, not the dragon, no furniture, but you've got the vortex by the chicken. There's a lot of annoying stuff going on in this battle. Let's see if this works. Where does the turtle jump? He jumps over there. Silas, please inject Stitchy. Oh, so close. So close. I feel like we can get this. Stitchy gets the shield. Now we need, oh, Silas got reset. Silas got reset, which absolutely sucks. Can Stitchy do it by himself? No. Man, that was so close. Silas got reset, which just really sucks. I might try... Unless I try, like, Drew's Call on Silas. No, nah, we got it anyway. That's okay. Silas got shredded, but we got it anyway. That's okay. It's really weird that at this stage, on the, like, on the, on 4.15, we got, uh... We got 10 of these, and then at 420, which is like the quote unquote hot, like bigger milestone, we only got 15 of the gold ones. I don't get that. Anyway, that was fun. Let's see if we can even challenge a normal tower with the power ratings that we have. Because I think we were out capped on power ratings. Okay, we can. We can. All right, let's try this. Let's, let's take, let's take him in. Let's just see if it happens. We don't have the power. We do not have the power. That sucks. Oh, well, let's let's finish the video off with just see if we can do this. If we can iron this stage. <laughs> we get shredded. Damn, I hate not having the power to be able to do it. Anyway, that is the maxed out Silas. I think he's going to be an absolute savage, especially in that faction tower, just because he's like the only healer and he is amazing support. You get him to inject that Stitchy, it's huge. Um, but I feel like in general campaign progression, uh, especially when you get to this stage of having five teams, like he's going to be in every team, um, well, in one of every fight, like in one of the teams. And then even earlier on, I, th I just think this guy's a really, really crazy support, especially with that 30 signature item, um, bringing the pressure early on. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm absolutely pumped about him. I think he's wicked. I'm probably going to do some summons for him on my main account because I really want to get Graveborn heavy on that account. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.